This video is going to show you how to download and install iTunes. And it's all, I'm also going to walk you through setting up a user account. And I'm going to show you a few different tweaks you can do with iTunes to change things around the way you want them, make it work better, whatever. It's a long, boring video, but if you've been looking to, to get iTunes on your system and didn't quite know how to go about it, there you go. Enjoy the video. I'll talk to you all later. Download iTunes 7.3. It's also the new software for your phone if you happen to have that phone. It's got a free download. You see a window on the left that says Download Now. Choose your operating system. I always turn these off to email me and keep me updated because I don't want the extra crap. You don't have to fill in your email address. Just click in, click on download now or download iTunes. There is a series of Windows requirements. You want to read through those. You get the iTunes setup. Save file. Okay, this is using Firefox which shows you the download progress it saves it to a folder if you're not using Firefox you give it a try you'll like it this download took 45 seconds I may speed it up to save time and watching this video you get 45 seconds of your life back okay wherever you happen to save it the name of the file is iTunes setup dot execute if you can't remember where you saved it do a search, a Windows search for iTunes setup dot execute. And you do that by clicking on your start menu and choose search and then type in the iTunes setup dot execute and it'll find a file for you. Click open and it'll start the installer. Now you can close all your other windows Welcome to iTunes 7 installer. Click next. Click yes, I accept the terms and agreement. Now here you have to decide whether you want iTunes and QuickTime shortcuts on your desktop or automatically update iTunes. See, I don't the automatic updates tend to slow you down a little bit. I don't use them. Um it's that's up to you. You decide. Uh, if you use iTunes as a default for audio files, it'll automatically come up instead of Windows Media Player. And you can add iTunes and QuickTime shortcuts to your desktop. I don't usually use the... that'll put the two icons on your desktop. Click Install. You have to decide whether you want iTunes to open after it installs or not. Click finish. You have to accept a license agreement. You're going to run through the iTunes setup assistant. You click next. Okay, this check mark here is going to allow iTunes to search your music folder. And it will also search and add uh, Windows Movie. Windows media files which are usually videos. Click next if you want it to do that leave the check marks in. This will give you the control over your file folders. Um, you can either rearrange them yourself and rename them and stuff like that or you can let iTunes do it. Most people choose to do it theirself. Automatically down album artwork and icons and but that requires an iTunes store account and you probably will need to create an account for iTunes this takes you to the iTunes store or you can go directly to your library well we'll visit the iTunes store in a minute let's go to the library for now this is your library it's doing a search and search for all available media in your music folder 
So you can see over here in the corner, it's segregated for music, movies, TV shows, podcast, and radio. There's the link for the iTunes store, and you can build your own playlist. Once this is done searching, we'll go in and I'll show you how to tweak this a little bit. And once it's done searching on the initial setup, it's going to offer you the mini store, which is uh, watches what kind of music you're listening to, and it offers more music uh, is familiar to that genre. Um, you can always turn it on later, but I find that it kind of just takes up space and gets in the way, and eventually it'd be annoying. So I'm going to click not now rather than have that store pop up all the time trying to sell me new stuff. Okay, go up at the top, you've got File, Edit, Controls, View, Store, Advanced, and Help. Under the Edit tab, we're going to click on Preferences. That opens your control menu for different preferences, how you want your iTunes to react and whatnot. Your source text you can change. You can tell it to show movies, TV shows, podcasts, radio, party shuffle. You know, you can change all these. Let's go in here and change the settings for what you critique it for what you want. And you've got your podcast settings. Download the most recent one, keep all episodes. Playback settings. Sound enhancer, play videos, separate window. Or in the main window, full screen, full screen with visual, you have to decide on that. Um, you can tell it how to shuffle. When you click shuffle, it automatically changes to the next song. Um, you'll have to play with this and get it the way you want it. You can look for shared library, share my library on a local network. If you've got other computers on your network, you can share your folder with them. And once you do that, you can put a password on your account so nobody can come in. You can tell what type of files you want to share. Here's your iPhone, which I don't have, so it's blank. Apple TV. And here you can decide whether to buy and download using one click when you click on a buy button. Your account's charged and your purchase is downloaded, or by using a shopping cart. You want to change that to shopping cart. And then you can add or remove items before purchasing. When you click buy now, it automatically adds it to your shopping cart and instead of automatically buying it. And then you go to your shopping cart and complete your purchase. Here's the advanced tab, shows the location of your music folder. And then you can always turn this back on to keep it organized. Or you could do it yourself. And you can change whether the iTunes is a default player or not here. Show iTunes icon in the system tray while it's loading. System tray is right here. And there's your iTunes icon. And you have parental control for different sources. Restrict movies to PG-13, uh, TV shows, TV-14, restrict explicit content, click OK. View options, you can choose the different columns that it shows, the album, artist, the date it was modified, date it was created. You pick and choose how you want your folders to look. Click OK. Do a search at the store for a certain music. That's your home page, which we're on now. Authorize your computer. And you need to sign in or create an account. Advanced show switch to mini player. Subscribe to a podcast need an account to get the album artwork 
we're going to go to create an account. It's accessing iTunes Store for one of three, create an account for the U.S. Email address, password, verify the password. And there are questions that you can easily remember to help us verify your identity. That's ever in case you lose your password, you'll need to know this answer. You'll have to decide whether you want this. Always show me iTunes Plus music and music videos. It's another part of sales. Uh, they want to sell you the better quality videos and whatnot. Um, you can always be, you can always change this preference via the iTunes Store account settings. I always turn this off to receive extra stuff, news releases, and all that email garbage. Once you fill out all your info, click continue. Filling out the credit card information at the top will not charge you any money automatically. They just want to have it on file, I guess. The April account has been successfully set up. Click done. Hey, I guess that's it. That's how you set up iTunes. Remember, if you get lost, go to help. Now that you've created an account, there's your shopping cart. You can click on shopping cart and it'll list all the items that you wish to purchase. Okay, now you've got iTunes installed, you're up and running, you've got a, a user account, you're good to go. Now if you want to see a video of something that you've been wanting to learn or weren't quite sure about, you wanted some updates on it, let me know and uh, I'll do my best to get it up to you.